People always talk about how biotechnology will save the world and destroy the world, and it seems as though we're saving and destroying the world simultaneously. The reality is, it's a lot more nuanced. Like any technology, it offers great potential and great risks. And what's really exciting about this field is that the practitioners are taking really deliberate steps to ask at each stage, how do I know what this will do? Often it's the case that we don't know, and so we're being really careful. So there are many possibilities and pitfalls with the engineering of living systems. So possibilities are really being able to do all sorts of useful things, from learning how do we make sure that we are more resilient to disease. And there are lots of different non-intuitive applications like storing data in genetic materials. Now, the pitfalls are also very numerous because things that we can use to improve our health can be used to the detriment of our health. Things that we use to make something valuable as a super strong material could also be used to degrade that same material or make it not strong. One of the most daunting challenges that face biotechnologies are how do we make the rules in that type of world, in technologies that don't respect borders? And that's a place where I hope that we actually think about innovating on those policies, on those social systems, on the governance systems. We don't often think about policy innovators, but I think that more and more we're going to have to be policy innovators. We're going to have to think about our leadership role and how we make rules and behaviors in the world today. <laughs>